Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Realme 9 Pro Plus and the 9 Pro. Now both of these phones you can get online. I'll throw the links up in the description. The price is 400 bucks. Both of these phones are 400 bucks. So we got mid-range phones on deck. Now, even though these phones look pretty similar, they're completely different. So let's go through the specs. We'll start off with the 9 Pro Plus. Now this one comes in black, green, and blue. For the display, you got a 6.4 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 411 for the PPI Patrol. You got grill glass five on the front, glass on the back, and a 90 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the MediaTek Dimensity 920 with the Mali G68 MC4 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Mid-range specs, bro, mid-range specs. Now it's running Android 12, with Realme UI 3.0 skin on top. You got eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got a 4,500 milliamp battery that features 60 watt fast charge. So Realme claims you can charge your phone from zero to 100% in 44 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel macro. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, fingerprint sensor under the display, face unlock, and a headphone jack. Okay, so all of that for 400 bucks, what's missing? No IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no quad HD display, no wireless charge, and no expandable memory. All right, so now let's take it over to the 9 Pro. Now this one is also gonna run you 400 bucks comes in black, green, and blue. For the display, you got a 6.6 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2412. Now that's 400 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass on the front and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, this one has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 with the Adreno 619 GPU. What does that mean in English? Mid-range specs, bro, mid-range specs. Now you got eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12 with Realme UI 3.0 skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 33 watt fast charging. Okay, for the cameras, triple setup on the rear, 64 megapixel wide, eight megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel macro. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now this one has a single bottom firing speaker, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, uh, side mounted fingerprint sensor, face unlock, and you also get a headphone jack. So what's missing? No IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no quad HD display, no wireless charge, and no dual speakers. Okay, so now let's break this down just in case you wasn't paying attention. <laughs> let's just make this really simple. What's the difference between the 9 Pro Plus and the 9 Pro? Well, with the 9 Pro Plus, okay, you got an AMOLED panel. With the 9 Pro, you got an IPS LCD. So two different types of displays. Next, the size. The 9 Pro Plus is 6.4 inches with a 90 hertz refresh rate. The 9 Pro is 6.6 .6 inches with a 120 hertz refresh rate. Next, the processor. You got the MediaTek Dimensity versus the Qualcomm Snapdragon. Next, the 9 Pro Plus, no expandable memory, but 256 gigs of storage. The 9 Pro, 128 gigs with expandable memory. Next, the cameras. The main sensor on this one, on the 9 Pro Plus, 50 megapixels. The main sensor on this one, 9 Pro, 64 megapixels. Next, the fingerprint sensor. Under display on the 9 Pro Plus, side mounted on the 9 Pro. Next, the battery. 4,500 milliamps on the 9 Pro Plus with 66 watt fast charging versus 5,000 milliamp battery with 33 watt fast charging. And lastly, dual speakers versus no dual speakers. So both of these phones are 400 bucks, but subtle differences, okay? All right, so let's start with the unboxing. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I shoes just ran off, so y'all y'all won't see the knife hands. Shoes, wherever you at? Calm down. Okay, here we go. Nine Pro Plus. 
Okay, real me, this is 5G. Now look, if you look at the back, here's another quick synopsis of the differences. With the 9 Pro Plus, you got the Sony IMX 766 OIS camera. You got 60 watt supercharge. This is the Dimensity 920, 90 hertz refresh rate. With the 9 Pro, you got the Snapdragon 695, 120 hertz refresh rate, the 64 megapixel Nightscape camera, and 5,000 milliamp batteries. Okay, so you got choices. That's the name of the game, choices. Right, here we go. Okay, now the classic yellow and black real me presentation. I like that so far. And when you see a nice thick box like this, that means the charger is preloaded, <laughs> pre-installed. You got a pre-installed charger. Okay, so let's see what you get. Hey, welcome to the real me family. Okay, I appreciate that. Inside, let's embrace a new journey. Okay, I'm, I'm with that. I'm ready to embrace. Okay, now check this out. This is gonna be a SIM ejection tool. Of course, you got your usual books and shit, plug them and file them, and a nice smoked out tint case. Okay, gel skin with that nice smoked tint. I like that. Okay, I like that. That's pretty much it for that. This is gonna be a device, flick of the wrist. Okay, now inside, you got your big giant 60 watt fast charging brick. Okay, now I don't know if I said 66 when I was reading the specs, but this is actually 60 watt charger. Okay, now this is USB-A to USB Type-C. Okay, now for the device, here we go. Now this is the blue color. Okay, let's see how we get this off without uh, angle levels increasing. There it is, Woo, slides right out. Let's get this little stick out of here. Hold up, right. Okay, now check this, now this one has a nice shimmeriness to it. Looks like speckles inside of it, you know, like the little diamond Diamond sprinkles. I like that. Let me do the smell test on this real quick. Mm! Smells like savings. Y'all right, know I love the sweet smell of savings. This phone has that. Okay. So that's the 9 Pro Plus. Now let's do a quick unboxing of the 9 Pro. Right. Okay. Now let's see. This one is the 5,000 milliamp battery. Okay. So basically what it boils down to is do you like AMOLED displays? Do you like 100 uh, LCS, uh, IPS LCD? Do you want 90 hertz or 120 hertz? Do you want faster charging? Do you want more battery? You know, so subtle little choices, but choices nonetheless. And I respect companies that give you choices, okay? I respect that. Okay, so this is the nine pro boxes, making my angle levels, okay? Saying welcome to the real me family. Let's see if this one comes with the same case. Okay, there's your SIM ejection tool, usual books and shit. Same exact style case. Okay. Let's see. Now, you get your... <laughs> flick of the wrist. This is going to be a 30-watt charging brick. And this is also USB-A to USB Type-C. Now, for the device, this is the black version. Okay. <laughs> Another shimmery phone. Sticker struggles. Right. Okay, let's wipe down. Bong, here it is. Okay. Now this one looks six. Now this, this actually might be the, let me see, what colors does this come in? This comes in black, green, and blue. This might be the blue. This looks like a royal blue kind of, not actually royal, like a navy blue, deep navy blue. Would y'all see that shine to it? Let me do the smell test on this one too. Mm! More savings. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of saving vibes right now from both of these phones. 400 bucks a piece. Subtle differences between the two. I'll power them on. We'll run through the OSs real quick and see if we can spot these differences. In the meantime, talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all. So we back in. Now, I just put my information in both of these phones, and I've been playing around with them for a few minutes. And even though they're the same price, these are two completely different phones. Now, on a side note. Hit me up in the comments and let me know if I get two similar phones like this. Do y'all want to see a dual unboxing? Or do y'all want to see two separate videos because this might be too much information in one video? Personally, I think this is the way to do it because you can see the differences and I think all of y'all are pretty smart and can keep up. But let me know what y'all think. Okay, now check this out. After playing around with both of these phones, let me recap the differences because I found a few more. On the left, we got the Pro Plus. On the right, we got the Pro. Okay, so here's some of the differences With the Pro Plus, you got a glass back With the Pro, you got a plastic back 
Now, this is important. If you're buying this phone, this is a mid-range phone, so chances are you might be buying it as your trap phone, your work phone, your throwaway phone. You might be buying it for the kids. You're gonna wanna go with the plastic back for more durability, but if you're buying it for yourself and you want a more premium feel, go with the Pro Plus. You got glass on the back. Next, always on display. With the Pro Plus, you do have an always on display. With the Pro, no always on display. Next, the display itself. AMOLED panel versus IPS LCD. Now check this out, I'm gonna open up both of them and you can clearly see the differences immediately. Now I put too many codes in real quick, here it goes. Look at this. Now I don't know if the camera's gonna do it justice, but if you lay them down flat, these are both on max brightness. You can see the AMOLED panel is a lot brighter. The IPS LCD has more of a dim tint to it, okay? Of course, now with IPS LCD, chances are you're not gonna get an always on display. You can see the viewing angle. You see how this one is a little bit dimmer and this is a little bit brighter. So that's one of the differences, okay? AMOLED panel versus IPS LCD. Next, refresh rate. Now, here's one of the things where the Pro actually has 120 hertz and the Pro Plus has a 90 hertz. But both of them feel super smooth and responsive, all right? You're not gonna have any issues with the display with the uh, resolution, so don't let that be a selling point for you. Next, the processor. Now with the Pro Plus, you got the MediaTek versus the Pro, the Snapdragon. Now look, there's a lot of debate, let me just set this up right, my OCD. There's a, lo a lot of debate going on online, which process is better, the MediaTek versus the Snapdragon. Now, years ago, that would have been a good debate because MediaTek used to be trash, but they came up. I just like a lot of all of these other cameras and fingerprint sensors, everybody's stepping up their tech. MediaTek now is right on par with Snapdragon. So again, I wouldn't let that be my deciding factor, but it's up to you. Both of them feel just as smooth and reliable, but if you're one of those people stuck in the past, go with the uh, Snapdragon. Next, expandable memory. Now this is important. This is gonna be your mid-range phone alert, okay? No expandable memory with the Pro Plus, but it does come with 256 gigs of storage in one of the versions. This one only comes in 128, but you do have expandable memory. Okay, so if you're buying this for your trap phone, you might wanna throw all your scumbag SD cards in here and rock out. Next, the cameras. Now this one has the 50 megapixel Sony camera. This one has a 64 megapixel camera. Now on paper, it may seem like the Sony one is better, but we're gonna have to test that one out. These are both mid-range phones. The camera should be a little bit better on the Pro Plus. But again, specs on paper mean nothing in the real world. Next. Fingerprint sensor. Now with the Pro, you got it on the side, okay? There it is, I just gotta find it. Bond just like that. And with the Pro Plus, under the display. So this one definitely has a more premium feel to it. All right, with the glass back uh, on-screen fingerprint sensor, that just feels like flagship materials. This one, the plastic back, the fingerprint sensor does feel a little you can feel it move a little bit. I mean, it does work, but it just doesn't feel ultra premium. But it works. <laughs> That's the most important part, it works. Next, the battery, okay? 4,500 milliamp battery on the Pro Plus with 60 watt fast charging. Okay, a little bit smaller battery, but faster charge. With the Pro, 5,000 milliamp battery with 33 watt charging. So bigger battery, slower charging. Okay, put that into your decision. Next, now this is important. Dual speakers versus a single bottom firing speaker. Now let's test that out real quick. Let's take it over to YouTube. Okay. We'll sign into uh, Flossy Carter on each one. Let's pull up a video. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yo, what's up, everybody? Now, not that one. Not that one. Okay. Let's try this one. Let's get max volume. Let's cover the bottom. There's the top. Okay. Now let's try this one. Yo, what's up, okay, everybody? real nice. Let's cover them. Let's get max volume. Cover the bottom. No sound from the top. Now let's do them side by side. This is the Pro Plus.
And this is the uh, pro. Let's do that one more time on the table. Honestly, the Pro Plus sounds better, but try to listen for yourself. Is the Pro. Yeah, see with the Pro, they both almost have the same amount of volume, but you can definitely tell that the Pro Plus has dual speakers. It sounds more filling. A little bit more filling. Now, speaking of that, let's take it over to the display at the same time. Let's get a uh, higher picture quality. Okay. Do the same thing on this one. Okay. Let's see how they look. All right, so first, let's take a look at this one. There's your viewing angles. Looks nice and bright. Let's try the Pro. Higher picture quality. Full screen. Okay. Here's your viewing angles. Let's see if we can run them side by side. Ah! Almost had it. I almost had it. <laughs> Let's go back. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Now the Pro Plus is on the bottom. Okay, Pro Plus is on the bottom. Now you know what? <laughs> we got we got a dummy alert. I should have turned the volume down so I could talk. Why not? Okay, we got a dummy alert. Here we go. Now let's try that one more time and this way we can uh, actually have a conversation while we're looking. Okay, now if you notice, the Pro Plus does have a bigger display. This one is 6.6 .6 inches. On the bottom, we got the Pro, I'm, I'm sorry, the Pro has a bigger display at 6.6 .6 inches and the Pro Plus has a smaller display. But look at the difference in the display, AMOLED versus IPS LCD. You can clearly see the difference, okay? It's, it's, it's clear, no camera tricks, you could see for yourself. Okay, the Pro Plus just seems like a more flagship version of this phone, even though they're the same price. Okay, let's go home. Okay, both of these have the YouTube picture and picture. Okay, we'll move these around. Now I gotta set up my gestures on this one. I did your picture and picture. Let's exit out. Okay, now let's look around the devices real quick. On the back, both of these have the triple uh, triple, uh, tri triple lens cameras with the LED flash. Now, remember I said I'm getting tired of these glossy back phones? This is why. All right, this is why I'm glad the new trend is the frosted glass back because you don't got to keep doing this. Okay? So, with the Pro, a little bit bigger. Both of them have the shimmeriness look to it. But this is plastic back. Okay? Plastic back versus glass. As far as height, you see, the Pro is a little bit bigger. Okay, both of them have power button on the right. Both of them have a mic on the top. On the left side, both of them have the SIM trays, but with the Pro, you do have expandable memory. Both of them have volume up and down on the left. On the bottom, both of these have a headphone jack. Okay, both of them have a mic, USB Type-C charging slot, and speaker grill. Now with the Pro Plus, speaker grill in the bottom, and speaker grill in the earpiece. With the Pro, speaker grill in the bottom, that's it. Couple of different ways you can open up each device. Both of them have face unlock. Bong. Bong. And the face unlock works flawlessly on each of these. Google. Okay? If you're gonna put a front facing camera, put face unlock. Next, fingerprint sensor on the side versus on screen. Now that face unlock is really good. It, it, it catches my face super fast. And of course, with each of these, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Okay, same thing with this one. Face unlock, bang. Do that one more time. There it is. So let's breeze through the software real quick. Now I'll do this uh, side by side. Now both of these are in dark mode. Now look, you can clearly see the difference from IPS and AMOLED. Both of these are in dark mode. You do have screenshots, screen recording, all that jazz. Everything is on deck. Okay, take it over to settings. Now let me show you some of the differences. 
Okay, so let's go to connection and sharing. Okay, VPN, NFC, private DNS, screencast on both phones. That's a good look. Next, let's go to personalization. Okay. And now, I used to love the three buttons. Now, I can't stand them. Okay, personalization. Okay. Now, if you notice, always on display. Okay. So, let's go ahead and set this up real quick. We'll turn that on. Okay, let's have, um, let's see what kind of patterns we got. We got a few different system provided ones, not too many. We'll do a little image. Okay, hit apply. Hit end. Let's check that always on display. There it is. Now, this is one of those dope always on displays that actually actually give you the colorful notifications. I, I love that. Okay, versus no always on display. Now, I got to change these buttons. This is so... <laughs> <laughs> Change these buttons. All right, let me do that real quick. Okay, so you got always on display versus photo uh, customizations. Uh, personalization, always on display, quick settings, icons. Okay, so the only thing missing is always on display. Let's hit back. Let's go to home screen and lock screen. Okay, app drawer, auto uh, icon. Everything looks the same. Raise to awake. Okay, everything is the same as far as the home screen and lock screen. Exit out of it. Ah! <laughs> Out of that. Let's go to display and brightness. Choose that wasn't your cue. Okay, both of these on dark mode. You got uh let's see auto switch, auto brightness, both off eye comfort, video enhancer. Okay, no video enhancer on this one. Okay, let's go to screen refresh rate. Okay, so we got 120 versus 90. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one on 90 and this one on 120. Okay, exit out of that. Let's see what else we got. I know y'all getting triggered at home. I'm get, I'm triggering myself. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Um, da, da, da. Let's see anything else we need to see. Passwords and security. Okay, face unlock. Private password, fingerprint sensor, and smart lock. Okay, both of these have the same. Let's see uh, anything else we need to see. Let's go to special features. Okay, both of these have flexible windows. This one has quick launch, no quick launch. This both of them have kid space, both of them have uh, simple mode. Okay, and this one, and both have a uh, smart sidebar. This one has more features. So the 9 Pro Plus, the name is kind of living up to it. It does have more features. Digital well-being, scumbag controls. Let's see system settings. Do we need to see anything? Under system settings. Nothing really to see there. Screenshots, screen recording. Okay, OTGs. Okay, both of them are exactly the same. Realme Lab. Okay, let's see. Do we have dual audio mode on both? Okay, uh, okay, now check this out. Now the Pro does have dual audio mode. No dual audio mode on the Pro Plus. Hmm, that's that, that's kind of that's kind of weird. Now the Pro Plus does have a heart rate monitor versus <laughs> no heart rate monitor. Let's see, heart rate measurement. How do we do that? Okay, we're gonna use the fingerprint sensor for that. Okay, so heart rate monitor on deck. I'll play with that later. I don't want y'all to see my heart rate right now. <laughs> because it's pretty high because I'm getting triggered. Now, I know, I know, if you like me, you at home like, go to the menu, go to the menu. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to the menu. Let's see, um, da da da. How do we get to that? What is that menu? System navigation. Okay, gestures. <laughs> I, you, ever, you ever watch a video and the person on the video is doing something stupid and you at home yelling at the screen like, just do that, just do that. All right, I, I do the same thing too. Okay, so we got system navigation. Now, there it is. Now, the biggest thing that I'm taking away right now, fresh out of the gate, is the display. Okay, now, once you see AMOLED, you can't go back to IPS LCD. You're not going to want to do that. Let's see. Let's take it over to the cameras real quick. Okay, now, let's see if we see anything jump out immediately. Okay, so there's the cameras. Oh, look at the difference. You see the yellow? You see the two tones of yellow? Let me put them right side by side. Okay, look at the difference. <laughs> yeah, you, you can see the color tones right right out of the gate. The Pro Plus, all right, that Sony camera, definitely giving you more color accuracy. And part of that may be due to also the AMOLED display uh, reproduces colors a little bit better. Now, I just made that up too, but we'll, you never know. It sounded it sounded technical. Let's go over the settings real quick. Okay, so we got night. Let's go to the different modes. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so we got night mode. 
Okay, both of them have night mode. We got street. Okay, video. Let's see now, video. On the Pro Plus, we got 4K. Okay, and with the uh, Pro, no 4K. Only 1080p. All right, so that's another that's another one. Add that to the list. Let's see, photos. Let's see, we both got wide angle. Let's see the maximum zoom. Okay, on the Pro Plus, 20 times zoom. Oh, six times zoom. Okay, so you're getting way more zoom. Look at that. Let me just make sure. Yeah, six times zoom versus 20 times zoom. Okay, so the camera is definitely gonna have a better experience with the Pro Plus. Both of these have portrait mode. You got 50 megapixels versus 64 megapixels. Okay. Let's hit more. Expert mode, panoramic, ultra macro. Both of them have the macro. Movie, slow motion, time lapse, dual view. Tech scanner, starry mode. <laughs> Y'all remember starry mode? We almost got bit by the raccoon trying to test that out. And we got tilt shift. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So basically the cameras, the cameras looks way better to me so far. Let's do a quick test shot. Okay, we'll look at that. And we'll do this one. Bang. And we'll look at that. Yeah, look at the difference in the yellows. And this one is more uh, accurate to the color. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's see, did we, we already checked the speaker, the display, we went through all of the settings, build quality. Overall, okay, overall. Both of these are $400 quality mid-range phones, but it's a no-brainer for me. If I had to pick one, I would definitely go with the Pro Plus if it's gonna be my phone. Okay, if this was my phone, I'm going with the Pro Plus. If I got $400 and I'm buying my parents a phone, or I'm buying my kids a phone, or I'm buying a phone for scumbag activities, then it's definitely gonna go with the plastic back. Okay, you wanna go with a bigger battery. Like I said, this is way more durable, so old folks dropping it out of the car, you know, your kids throwing it in the back of the, back of the school bus or whatever they doing, this is gonna be more durable. All right, now I was about to end the video, but I forgot one more important thing. Let's check the difference between the processors. Now, my bet is they're both gonna be about the same, but let's find out. The Pro Plus MediaTek versus the Pro Snapdragon. Go to apple.com. Okay, so the Snapdragon is a little bit faster. It opened up the page a little bit faster. Okay, let's do something else one more time, just so I'll be fair. Go to samsung.com. Okay, now that looked about the same, okay? All right, 120 hertz versus uh, 90 hertz. Let's do a scrolling speed test. <laughs> now the scrolling speed test don't really mean nothing because they're both about the same. All right, let's wait till we get the full image on both of these. Okay. Now look, when you go to the websites, here's another way you can clearly see the difference between IPS and AMOLED. Look at the whites. All right, look at the white. The, look at the what? <laughs> what? <laughs> People down south say what? All right, look at the watt in the background. Now let's do the scroll test real quick. One scroll. Okay, now it's hard, it's hard to really judge, but they both feel nice and smooth. Okay, now Samsung is a big website. Let's do one more. Let's try something different. This is the last one. This will be the last one. Go to flossycarter.net. Okay, let's see. Now the Snapdragon looks a little bit faster, but again, when you get to the actual website, look at the blacks. All right, look at the black, not, not, the, not the black guy, the blacks in the background. Right, not, not this black, <laughs> look at the other blacks, yeah. All right, now this one has, um, <laughs> I know I just made myself laugh. All right, hold up, let's see now. Let's see, there's a scrolling speed again. But you can see in the, in the background, the black looks a little bit darker. Let's see, let's, let's get something a little bit white in the background. I would take it over to the merch. All right. Now, this is a shameless plug for my website. Okay, now let's see if we can see the difference in AMOLED versus IPS. Yeah, yeah I'm telling you, if you didn't have both of these phones in your hand, you would say, oh, both of these look great. But when you put them side by side, that's when you can clearly see the difference. 
All right, don't forget to check it over to FlossyCarter.net. Buy some of my merch. All of the proceeds go to a White Shoes Kitty Litter and White Shoes Dinner. <laughs> That's an expensive cat, yeah. All right, anyway, let me go ahead and wrap this up. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, both of these are a major go for 400 bucks. It just depends on who you're buying each phone for and what reason you're buying each phone for, which differences are gonna be more important to you. Nevertheless, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be broken. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. All right, shoes, I need you to scoop. Spot when the beam up. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter. We know you flossy. Now guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.